on a couture divan. <laughs>
Thank you. Okay, number eight. Uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I have a problem. I have a serious problem. <laughs> I was looking at the rainbow. I have a serious problem. Uh, I also have the Beauty Killer palette, and uh, I don't have all the colors, and I actually want all of the colors. I have a legitimate problem, <laughs> and uh, I'm okay with that because, you know what, some people have, have addictions that are, are pretty bad, and I, I don't think uh, liquid lipstick is a bad addiction to have. I don't think it's terrible, especially if it's just one kind. <laughs> uh, nine, the older I get, the faster time goes. So I feel like as, as I get older and older, like the years go by faster and faster. And while I'm not ancient by any stretch of the imagination, like I feel like I need to enjoy my life more. And I feel like I need to appreciate every moment more, which again goes back to recording more of my life makes me more appreciative. It's like every minute counts, like every minute in your life that you are awake counts. So I've learned that as time goes, you, I've learned that as you get older, time goes by a lot faster. So you should appreciate it while you have it. Uh, number 10, if you lay down in a tanning bed just right and you have a butt, uh, you will get stuck to the bottom of the tanning bed. The suction will, you will get suctioned to the bottom of the tanning bed and it is a weird surprise and it's also incredibly hard to unstick yourself. <laughs> And uh, I learned that uh, the hard way. <laughs> so it, it took me about two minutes to unstick myself from the tanning bed. And that's only if you tan. I tan um, because it helped me fight off like winter depression and help me control my mood with the pots. So um, that's why I do it. Not as you can tell, not really to tan because I'm still white. So <laughs> eleven. <laughs> Old people are really really easy to scare. And I'm, I'm not like going out of my way to scare old people. It's just they're really, really easy to scare. Um, the office that I work in, there is a salon right next door and they cater to older clientele. And uh, we're a really small office building. So I always end up once a week terrifying some little old lady who's trying to come out of the bathroom at the same time I'm trying to go in and like, Last week I almost broke some lady's hip because she like jumped back so far away from her walker she couldn't grab her walker in time and like had to hold on to the wall and it was really I felt really really bad because I was just trying to go potty I just wanted to go to the bathroom and this little old lady almost broke herself because she was so scared of the fact that there was someone else trying to use the bathroom at the same time she was it's weird twelve I guess I could do this twelve um. If the general population had a better understanding of basic math, my life would be a hundred percent better. Um, I really honestly feel that way, guys. Uh, for those of you who maybe have struggle with basic math, sorry, it's not like at you personally, it's just in general with the with my day job, if people understood basic math better, my life would be so much easier. Like my job would be so much easier. 13! 13! I can literally play Fallout 4 forever and never get bored. That game is addictive. Uh, that game is amazing. Uh, I, I still haven't even gotten through half of the game yet, like the main storyline. Granted, I've got all the DLCs now, but I just, I can't get tired. I can never get tired of an open world game where you can just murder and mayhem people and build stupid things. It's just, it's a fantastic game. If you have not played Fallout 4, I highly recommend it. It's so much fun. 14. Uh, blasting a company on Twitter is much faster at getting a result than trying to go through customer service. Three times I've tried to go on a company website and follow the customer service path that says contact us for customer service and I've emailed and I've called the stupid not line and like got nil for a result. As soon as I go on Twitter and be like, hey, I have this problem, no one's f***ing responding to me, it's been days, instant, instant fix, instantly better. It's amazing. I'm not saying that you should go troll companies on Twitter. I'm just saying that if you're having a customer service issue 
and customer service is not servicing the customers, try Twitter. Try it. Just try it. Hopefully it helps you out. 15. Woo! 15. <laughs> if you have an opportunity to travel, go. Just go. I will be doing that uh, later this year, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, that's actually how I'm going to be bringing 2017 in. I, if, if you have an opportunity to travel, just go. Just make it happen. Um, and that goes into number 16. If you want to do something, you should go do it. Like, that is a valuable life set. If you want to, it's like beyond like murdering people and shit. I'm not, I'm not that kind of a person. Come on now. Like, if there's something you really want to do, do it. You might inspire somebody else to do something that they were scared of. So, for example, uh, there's been a convention, NecoCon, that I've been going to for years, ever since it first started. And, like, I wanted to do a panel. And I ended up doing two panels. I applied to do a panel, and I ended up being able to do two panels. And it was awesome. Like, I got to meet Fiora the tank girl who is also here on YouTube and she is wonderful and like I made a friend because I did these two panels in addition to the fact that I did these two panels and made a friend one of the friends I've had for a really long time had decided wait you got to do a panel I could do a panel I have stuff I want to do panels about but she didn't think like she could do it she didn't think that she would get picked and she might not get picked but she 100% wouldn't get picked if she's not gonna apply so the fact that I did panels inspired her to maybe apply to do panels. If there's something that you want to do in life, try. Just try. That's, that's 16 things I've learned in 2016. I know not a whole lot of them were interesting or very useful life lessons, but I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, if you liked it, blah. If you didn't like it, bye. <laughs> and if you want to see more of this weird face, you're more than welcome to hit the subscribe button below. Or not. It's not going to affect me at all. Well, that's not true. It affects me a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you watched it all the way through. If not, I understand. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye!